Where's that bloody warm-up man? Where's Bobby Chariot? Oh, I've been very unlucky, you know, love. Yeah, um, recently, uh, my holiday home was burnt down by Welsh nationalists. A bit rough, really, because it was in Spain. You get out there. Oh, yeah, sorry, Mark, sorry. All right. Here we are, Bobby Chariot, top warm-up man. How you diddling? <laughs> bloody sod you, then. Ah, Bobby Cherry, a top warm-up man here to keep you laughing and smiling through all the technical breakdowns, despite my own personal troubles, you know. Uh, I don't know if I told you, but I've been thrown out of my house by my wife, separated from me. Two lovely kiddies, Laura and Ashley. <laughs> Hang on, they're not my kiddies, they're my whippets. I can't remember what my kiddies are called. Anyway, you know, I'm terribly depressed, as I say. I'm on pills for my nerves, you know. And uh, I think the reason I'm depressed is, have you ever heard of post-coital tristesse? You know, that's when after you had a shag you feel all kind of... <sighs> like that, all sad. But I think I've been suffering from that ever since I had a, a bunk up in 1964. <laughs> hey, have you noticed that uh, Glenda Jackson's become a member of Parliament? Wouldn't it be interesting, A, eh, if other show business personalities became members of Parliament? Like, erm, um, Bobby Ball. Ooh, I'm getting excited, Madam Speaker. <laughs> Why, well, hey, here, here, how about that Victor Melju? Ooh, I don't believe it, <laughs> Madam Speaker. <laughs> oh, Nigel Mansell. Now, wow, 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 Madam Speaker. <laughs> I'll tell you what would be good as well, is if politicians became show business stars, you know. Piss off. No call for that, mate. And we're back. Oh, shit. <laughs> Bobby, we've had VTR breakdown, so get out there. What? Get out there. Oh, yeah, all right, Mark. Fair enough. Yeah. <coughs> all right. How are you diddling? <laughs> A bloody sod you then. A couple of days ago, right? A couple of days ago. I went into this do-it-yourself shop, right, and I said to the man behind the counter, I said, uh, here, mate, I said, give us a bottle of mess. He said, well, no way, pal. He said, I know you, Bobby Chariot. He said, you're going to drink it. I said, give us a break, lads. If I look a bit scruffy, it's just because I've been decorating the kid's room, you know, the kiddie's bedroom. He said, oh, I'm terribly sorry. He said, uh, I didn't realise, you know, you were back with your wife and that you're not separated from your kiddies anymore. You're not sleeping in your jack. I said, no. He said, oh, well, I'm terribly sorry, mate. And he gave me this bottle of mess. I got it in my hand. I said, all right, mate. I said, haven't you got a cold one? Uh, thank God we're back. <laughs> Here, do you know what Freud would say about this? He'd say, what the friggin' hell's this? Because they weren't invented when Freud was alive. Okay, we're still recording. Oh, f***.